So what is the fastest way to increase your ROI on the leads that you generate? So the uh, Harvard Business School did a, a study on this, and they studied, this was over three years, uh, 15,000 leads, 100,000 calls, and then this is kind of the results that they came up with. So they came up with, you know, the average sales person only makes one to two attempts. And that one to two attempts, they're, they're actually only getting a 20% contact rate. So I have 100 leads, they're only contacting 20 of them. They said by making at least six attempts, you can you can increase that to 90%. So that's the first way is to make at least six attempts on your leads. Um, to increase that, you can increase that by 70% work for most sales reps are only doing one to two reps or one to two calls. So there's a whole blue ocean out there on leads. We know all these lead providers are selling, selling to multiple agents, um, multiple companies and everything else, and they're only calling them one to two times. So if we just call them six times, you know, we can increase our contact rate, which will also increase our conversion rate, which will make us get a better ROI. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, you know, we all know speed to lead is important because, again, they're selling – these companies are selling them to multiple um, agents, multiple companies. Everyone's getting the same leads. The leads are all the same. It's, it's your follow-up and your process, you know, how you handle when they come inbound and the speed to them. So what they found out, if you call them within the first five minutes – uh, you're 400% more likely to get a hold of them and contact them versus if you call them from five to 10 minutes, period. So we know probably in real estate, we need to be calling them uh, within the first 30 seconds because like Zillow, Realtor, all these companies are selling to multiple agents. They're all calling them at the same time. So, but our mastermind, this is kind of like what we talked about is kind of what is the follow-up process, you know, to maximize our ROI, you know, to make contact so we can convert at higher level. So in the end, we can help more people. So this is kind of how we broke everything down in our follow-up uh, our follow-up process. So we know we need to make at least six attempts, you know, and then we, a lot of this stuff, and then the text and the email can be automated with our CRM. So the whole goal uh, of all these attempts is to make contact, to actually speak to them, you know, to understand whether their goals, time frame, and motivation. That's the three things we look for in the initial contact. You know, goals, time frame, motivation. From there, then we want to put them in our CRM. We use KB Core in our office, and we have the CRM Perfect Storm. Um, our agents use either one, which one they prefer. So they go on our CRM, and then we categorize them based on their motivation and timeline. So if they're an A, which means they're good looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days, you know we know how often we want to communicate to them. We want to be communicating to them, you know, at, at a minimum every week, mostly multiple times throughout the week, because they're hot, ready to go. Versus a B which is a 30 to 90 days. You know, they're 30 90 is up. We only talk to them bi-weekly to stay in front of them. That way we can build trust with them. That way we're, and then a C is their 90 days a year. We want to contact them once a month and uh, stay in touch with them, you know, let them know that we're still there for them. So, and the whole, our whole goal is to move the C to a B and the B to the A and work the A's, uh, you know, them are the clients that are ready to go right now. So, what, you know, during this nurture period for B's and C's, what are we doing for them, you know? Um, what items of value can we be bringing them? And that's what we should be doing to build trust with them, to get us to know, like, and trust us, you know, and, and, and position ourselves as authority in their eyes, you know, so they use us versus another agent. So let's look at a seller right here. You know, the value we can do for a seller, we can put them on a market report. A neighborhood search is in their neighborhood, so that would apply to them. They would be highly interested in that, you know, active properties in their neighborhood. Um, email, you know, uh, educational videos, educating them about the process. You know, our vendor list, you know, how our vendors can help them come out and do some things. Who do we recommend that we trust to come out there? Because we know um, all property owners are looking for uh, vendors to do a quality job for the projects. So, and, and then our check-in calls, you know, check in, see how things are going, you know, build that relationship with them so, so we are the trusted advisors. Same thing on the buyer side. We want to add value to them while they're in the nurture phase till they move up to they're ready to go. So the, the same things, active properties, educational videos, vendors, lenders, you know, maybe they need credit repair, maybe we need help on that. Our email and then our check-in calls, you know, to just check in, see how things are going in their life, you know, see if we can add value or help them in any things if they got any questions. So the whole goal in this stage is to add value to them, to position yourself as a trusted advisor. But you can't do that unless you make the, the necessary attempts to get a hold of them to figure out their goals, time frame, motivation. So that's kind of the goal. Once you do that, they go into your CRM. I hope you have a CRM, a good one. There's many of them out there to pick from. 
Um, but you should be putting all your leads in a database. If you're not, you're losing a lot of money because they're going to waste. You know, if they're not in your database, they're probably in five more other databases too, honestly. So you should be adding as much value to them as you can so that you they get to know, like, and trust you. And that will increase your, your uh, contact rate, conversion rate, and overall your ROI. Because our end goal is to help more people. You know, and that is our goal. So my name is Matt Lang with First Class Real Estate Advisors. I hope this is helpful. If you need anything, please reach out.